In Movies and Money, the new thriller Us scared up more than $70 million at the box office over the weekend, and that was just week one. Let's bring in movie man Eric Childress, who's on the road this week. Hello to you, Eric. Thank you, Angie. It feels as though everyone is talking about Us. You said it was going to be an impressive opening weekend. I did say last week that I felt Jordan Peele's Us could double the opening weekend of Get Out, and it did that and then some with a number that was even higher than the initial estimates. 71 million in its first three days and a 94% score at Rotten Tomatoes, which makes it the best reviewed uh, wide release of 2019 so far. It is also the highest opening ever for an original R-rated film, the biggest opening for an original live-action film in March, and the biggest for an original horror film in any month. And the chatter I've seen from audiences has been pretty positive so far, though whether or not the degrees of their enjoyment match up to that of critics, when we talk word of mouth driving a film, it does not always have to be a response of overwhelming positivity. Us is a film with twists, it is a film with secrets, there are theories being postulated now that even its most ardent supporters missed, and gets others to reevaluate its overall effect. This is all positive news for a film that is already well into profit, and we're going to see just how high it can climb. Question is, will Dumbo the Flying Elephant soar at the box office this weekend? Hi, baby Dumbo. Welcome to the circus. All Dumbo wants is his mama. Do you want Dumbo to be happy? I want my animals to be mine. Fly, Dumbo. Fly. Depends on who you ask, Angie. The box office is going to be very much in its favor this weekend, as this is the first of four live-action versions of classic Disney animated films headed into theaters this year alone. We have Aladdin in May, Jon Favreau's The Lion King this July, and then the sequel to Maleficent with uh, Angelina Jolie, which was recently announced for October. Now, Tim Burton's Dumbo kicks it all off this weekend, and you'll remember that Beauty and the Beast just a couple years ago grossed over half a billion dollars domestically and over a billion and a quarter worldwide. Favreau's The Jungle Book the year before came up just shy of a full billion. Now, Dumbo is unlikely to reach those heights, but it should find itself doing quite well, starting with leading the box office this weekend and possibly stretching itself to over $200 million, though Disney would clearly like to see it more in the $300 million region. Now, colleagues that I have spoken to who are not the kind of early risers trying to be first to lavish praise for clicks so early on have expressed a lot of disappointment in the film using words like bloated and dull and even soulless. Eric, is the box office in for a hard landing this year after getting off to that bumpy start? It's always important to remind people to take any week-to-week box office comparison to the previous year with a grain of salt. You get the third biggest box office success to open in February last year. Of course, 2019 is going to be playing catch-up. Before Captain Marvel was released, 2019 was nearly 30% down from 2018. Now, after Captain Marvel, which itself is headed for a billion dollars worldwide very shortly, as well as the success of Us, the number is only about 16-17%. to Plus, with Dumbo this weekend, and Shazam, and Pet Cemetery the week after, and a wealth of major successes due this summer, the early drought is going to sound like a fairy tale entitled Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.